Who wants some budget-friendly suggestions to get through the summer travel season? Stay tuned. Don't forget all Timu items you see today offer free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days. If you're a new user, you can use Deal5875 for 30% off your order. If you're a current user, just download the app and you will get a different discount every time you use it. Now let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Courtney. Today I have got some budget friendly solutions for you to help make sure that you don't break the bank before vacation. I'm sharing travel essentials from road trips to airplane rides to cruises to packing all the things. So let's get started. Let's start off with a good cosmetic bag. I picked up this cosmetic bag. Now the first thing that caught my eye was the color. It's kind of a very close to a Tiffany blue color with some gold accents. And upon opening it and my first impression, I'm, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. So the material, it is pretty thick. It's not a thin flimsy um, cosmetic bag. But what I really like about it is when you open it up, it kind of falls open and opens like this and the inside you can easily wipe if you spill anything but it's got two smaller pockets and one larger pocket and then running down the middle there is a zippered pocket so overall i really love the color you could easily add a cute little decal to this if you wanted to personalize it but i have to say i have seen these for way like literally the same item on other sites for way more money and I'm very excited to use this I've got several trips planned this summer and I'll be busting this out very very soon but I can't wait to use it for all my travel now going along with the cosmetic bag I don't know if you're like me but when you put little lotions and things inside the cosmetic bag I used to always like use like ziploc bags to help make sure that it didn't explode everywhere well I picked up one of these little silicone toppers that you can put on top of a shampoo bottle, a lotion bottle, so that you're not having to, if you don't want to transfer it to a little container, you can easily just put this on top and it'll keep it from spilling. So I'm excited to have this and not have to continuously use zipper bags. And it's, you know, since it's silicone, it can be easily wiped out and cleaned as well. Speaking of travel containers, I picked up, ooh, this three pack of these plastic bottles easily unscrew the lids put your shampoos your lotions in there and these would be perfect to use those little silicone covers they fit really nicely on here to keep it from accidentally leaking out but the lids have a nice good click to them they're not super loose so that's good but yeah a great little deal for three of these travel containers to throw into your toiletry bag Next up, something for makeup brushes. Now, I have a real big like makeup brush roll, but I often find myself, especially if it's just a quick trip, I only bring like a couple of brushes. And so this is a little silicone brush holder. It just has a kind of slit on the top here where you can just easily throw your brushes in. Again, I love that it's silicone because you can easily wipe it out and clean it very, very easily. It doesn't take up a lot of space. So a great piece to have to travel with your makeup brushes. All right, speaking of makeup, if you use a makeup sponge, they have these little makeup sponge holders. It just kind of keeps it from coming in contact with other stuff in your toiletry bag or your makeup bag. It also has the little venting on the side, so you're not gonna end up growing anything by completely covering up your beauty blender. But again, silicone and easy to wipe out. So I love that this is just such an easy little compact thing to throw in my makeup bag. The next thing I picked up were two different little lighted makeup compacts. Now, the reason I ended up picking up two was because I knew my daughter is probably gonna take one once she finds out I have it. One of them has lights on both sides along with a regular and a magnifying mirror. It comes with a USB cord so you can charge it and it's a great size, has a little bit of a magnetic close, so that's really nice on this light pink one. This other one is a little bit more of a coral color, and it only has light on one side, and it uh, doesn't have, well, it has a little bit of a zoom, but not as much as the other one does as far as magnification. So uh, yeah, I just picked up two different ones. It's got a little power button, and again, it came with a... Um, charging cable. This light throws out kind of a pinkish light. It does pick up a little bit of this compact. So I don't know. That might affect how your makeup looks just because it's not a pure light coming off of this compact, but it does give you light. So that's always a bonus just to have a little bit of extra light. Another item that you might want to throw into your cosmetic bag, but if you're flying and especially if you're checking your bag, you need to make sure it's TSA approved, is just picking up one of these mini little perfume bottles so you don't have to bring your big perfume bottle. Super easy to transfer the perfume. You simply just punch it 
There's a little hole at the very bottom of the perfume bottle and you just take off the little spray nozzle on your perfume and then pump this in there and it will fill up with some perfume. It's a great little compact size, lots of fun colors to choose from. So that's a great little option to whether you want to carry it in your purse and carry it every day or again, use it for travel. Now the next little thing that I will throw into my cosmetic bag are contacts. Yes, I do have contacts. I wear them on a very rare occasion, but when I saw this cute little case, I was like, okay, I need it. It's really nice and compact. So I like that it has a mirror. This is a great little thing also to keep in your purse, just in case if you are wearing contacts and you need to take them out for some reason, but it comes with the left and right labeled eye. It comes with a little bottle for you to put contact solution in. And then of course there are some tools there, some little tweezers if you're having trouble getting the contacts out and then if you need help placing it in your eye there is a little tool to use that as well but yeah it's super cute got a little heart on it but a great little container to kind of keep all of your contact stuff especially if you for instance uh are going on a cruise and maybe you have a beach day it's great to carry something like this because if you get sand in your eye and you need to take those contacts out this is a great little piece to have to be able to do that very easily on a beach another thing i picked up was just this cute little lemon bag I mean, you can never have enough little bags, but I like that it opened up really, really big. Um, it has a little pocket here. And I mean, I this is one of those things that I unintentionally collect. I've been sharing those with you over the last few months, but with the lemons, I thought it was super cute. And you can never have enough little bags. Again, the inside, you can wipe down if you put sunscreen or maybe something inside of here, but this is a cute little summertime zipper bag because you can never have enough of these little bags. Another thing that I always travel with is a charging tower. So this one has got five USB slots. And what I like about it is that way, usually on the nightstand of a hotel or an Airbnb or wherever I am, it's just easier to plug them all into here because it's my Apple charger, my phone charger, my iPad charger, those kind of chargers. And it's just nice to be able to have it all in one spot and not have to run around the room and try to find all of the electrical cords. So this is just a great little uh, charger and it doesn't take up a whole bunch of space. All right, speaking of electronics and all the cords involved, I picked up two different sizes of cord organizers. So this one is a larger one. It's got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Um, this is six, seven, eight, about eight spots four cords along with a zipper pocket here, which is nice if you have like SD cards from cameras or extra batteries that you need to put in there. So this is a great size. Um, I love the material. You could easily, again, add a cute little decal to this to personalize it. And then I also picked up one of their smaller ones. So this is maybe just for a quick little weekend trip if you're going somewhere and you're not necessarily bringing a whole bunch of cords, but it's got a big pocket there, a pocket here, and then two kind of side pockets here that you can use. And again, the material, you'd be easily able to add a cute little decal to this to get it all decorated. Now with the cords, I did pick up this little four pack of cord holders. This is just to easily kind of keep them contained, especially if you're gonna be using the charging station that I showed you and you're gonna have cords kind of flying all over the nightstand where you're staying. These are great to have and just to kind of wrap the cords and keep them all contained so it doesn't look like you have like a spaghetti land of cords. So these are made out of silicone, easy just to kind of snap it in there and hold those cords together. And I also picked up just one more style of cord organization. This kind of just feeds through here. It kind of pulls apart and you put it around the cord. So just a personal preference, but I do like these to kind of, some of the cords I have six feet, eight feet long, I don't need all that extra cord floating about. So it's nice to have options on how to kind of contain all the cord madness. Time to talk quick road trip. So one thing I saw that I was like, okay, I totally need that just in my everyday driving around life is uh, the way the cup holders work in my car is I've got two up front and then the two for the middle seats are right there. Well, anytime I go somewhere with the receipt or a straw wrapper, I just put them in those back little cup holders. So this is perfect. It's a little silicone trash can, which means you can wipe it out really, really easily. Obviously this is not meant for like to go food, trash and things like that. But if you find yourself ending up with a little bits of trash here and there, it's nice. It's got a little lid. It fits perfectly into the cup holder. And again, it's silicone so you can easily wipe it out. So this is something that will be in my car all the time, not just for road trips, but great little size to kind of contain all those little bits and pieces that may pop up in your car. Another road trip must have is gonna be one of these seat organizers. So, when my kids were little, we actually had some of these and you can attach this to the seat in front of them. This one in particular, it's got a clip up here so it can goes around the headrest and then it's also got 
a clip on the bottom that can go around the base of the seat. But here there's this nice large pocket that if you want to put an iPad or something, a movie in there. And then there's all these extra pockets here that they can stash water bottles or toys or crayons or markers. But it's a great little piece to take with you and just kind of contain all their stuff in front of them and they can see it and it's easily accessible. And the final road trip item I would recommend you have is a little car vacuum. So this one's really nice. It plugs into the cigarette lighter and the cord is super long for it. And it comes with several different attachments. You simply just snap it in there and then you can go in and vacuum. So it's got, like I said, several different attachments to it. This is a must have, I feel like, especially if you're going on a long road trip, because the chances are food spilling, things like that, you wanna be able to get it picked up. Maybe you go to the beach and it's sandy. This is a great little item to have to just kind of clean up all the messes as you go so that when you get home, it doesn't look like a tornado went off inside your car. So this is a great little piece just to keep in your car, maybe in the back in a little bag and you can bust it out when you need it. Here's another item that you might want for a road trip or even to go to the beach. And this is just a little portable picnic blanket. So I will say when I first opened it, it had kind of like a plasticky smell, but the more I opened it, it was fine. It's a good size that you can easily wipe it. You simply just, Pull the Velcro, spread it out where you want it to go. It's a great little piece to have if you need to pull over and let the kids run around, you wanna get some fresh air and just sit somewhere. So it doesn't take up much space, which is also really nice. And like I said, you could use it you know, on the beach or even on a road trip. Now this next piece, what intrigued me about it was it was a picture of this little thing attached to an airplane tray holding a phone. So I felt like if you had small children, this would probably be really beneficial. Um, you obviously could clip it other places. It doesn't have to be just on an airplane. Now I am going on an airplane in July, so I am gonna test it out there because that's what I wanted to see is if it would hold the phone. So I'll report back about that once I use it. But I just thought it was intriguing, and especially if you need somebody to you know hold up a phone for maybe a grandchild or your kid or maybe you like to shoot TikToks while you're on an airplane this is a great little thing to hold your phone for you who is an overpacker true story last september when we had the youtuber trip in denver it was the morning of i was running late i was throwing stuff in my bag I literally had to sit on my suitcase to zip it and I broke the zipper. So I had to transfer all of my stuff out of my suitcase. So this is where the next item will come in handy for me from now on and that is compression bags. I picked up four different sizes of these compression bags. And so how the compression bag works is not only does it help you kind of organize your outfits, which is really nice because you can keep stuff together and make it easier for you to unpack. But once you put the items in there, as you can see, there's like this extra space. You take your zipper, you zip it around, and it will compress it, <laughs> allowing you to have more space to pack stuff. Now, don't do that. If you compress it, that's perfect. Put it in your bag, and you've just kind of freed up a little bit of space, and chances are you won't break your zipper like I did. But yeah, compression bags, they do make travel bags that aren't compression, but I would highly recommend just going ahead and getting the ones that have the feature to be able to compress them down. Another item that I picked up was this pack of clear bags. Now these shoes, okay, shoes all day long. It's just an easy bag that you can throw the shoes in, do the drawstrings, and it keeps, you know, you know, you never know what you step on with your shoes. So this will keep the shoes from touching the items in my bag. So another bag I just picked up. This is not a compression bag, but I felt like I could try it out with shoes as well. It's a little bit of a wider bag, so this would probably be better for tennis shoes or maybe a thicker shoe that you might need to pack. Another thing that I love to have are luggage tags, especially bright colorful ones that help mark your suitcase so it's easy to find. Now, one thing I like to do is when it's, you know, has the space for your name or address, I usually put a QR code there and that way they can scan it and then they get my information that way. Um, but totally up to you, but this is really fun. It's plastic so it can wipe off really easily, but bright and colorful and will definitely help me spot my suitcase. And now that you've got your bag all packed, 
everyone needs to get themselves a little luggage scale. This is great to have because that way you don't get to the airport and they say, hey, you're three pounds over, you didn't have to take three pounds out and you're stuck with having to pack it into your carry-on and your backpack and all this other stuff. So having a little luggage scale is a great little item to, especially when you go somewhere and you're bringing back extra souvenirs perhaps, this is just a great little thing to throw in with your stuff so that you know your bag will get cleared and be able to load on the plane. Okay, another item you definitely want to bring is a small portable umbrella. So I grabbed this one here and for the most part it is pretty sturdy. You got to give a little effort to click it. I would say this is probably a one person umbrella though. It is kind of small um, but as far as the material goes it actually feels kind of thick. Like it doesn't, I think it's two layers of material which is nice and um, it does come with a little uh, cover on the outside i will say after you've opened it you gotta squeeze it tight i'm not i'm never good at doing this part anyway but uh you do need to squeeze it tight it gets a little fluffy to get back in there but it's overall it's a great size it's not super heavy and i think it would get the job done but again one person umbrella so one of you's gonna get wet so you gotta decide who's the more important person when using this umbrella Another thing you can do to keep the rain off of you, which I don't know why I find ponchos so hilarious, but I just do. They do have these quick little disposable ponchos, but what's nice about these is they're very small, it's very compact, and it will protect you from the rain. So if you're going somewhere like Disney or, and you really don't want to carry a bunch of extra heavy stuff, maybe you don't want to carry an umbrella, this is a great little option for you just to do some of the disposable ponchos. Okay, don't say I'm not dedicated to this, y'all. The hat thing doesn't doesn't quite cover all the way, but I have a really big head. My shirt's dry, so these little disposable ponchos, besides my head being wet, work pretty well. Now, another little thing that I picked up, this was cute, is this kind of a little crossbody bag. I liked it that it was this slick material, so if it gets wet, it seems to be that the stuff inside will be protected. Again, you could add a quick decal. There's a zipper pocket on the outside. Inside is actually also got two small pockets and a larger pocket here, so that's really nice as well. But I like that it could be easily wiped down and it's a good size, not too big, not too small. And then one more little bag. This is just a very little um, kind of, portable backpack. So what I like about this is when we go on trips, especially if we go without the kids, we always get them souvenirs. So this is something great that you can bring with you. Like I said, it's a little backpack and you can throw those while you're out shopping, throw those extra souvenirs in there. It's even got a place where you can put a water bottle. Um, it's got plastic vinylish material here. So I'm assuming it would be protected by rain if it got wet, but again, super compact, doesn't take up a lot of space, but provides you with that extra storage when you're out shopping around while you're on vacation. Now let's talk water bottles. I've got two fun water bottles here. One, is a collapsible one. Again, a space saver. So this one is silicone. It's pretty sturdy. It feels very, very sturdy and it inflates up. You can easily get water in it. You just unscrew this, fill it up with the water, um, and then you can close it up and easily transport it. Again, doesn't take up much space, which is what I really like about it. So there's that. And the second little uh, water bottle is I don't know, it's either for a kid or maybe someone a kid at heart. This would be something fun to take to Disney, I think. Uh, it's just this cute little popsicle looking water bottle and you just, you can pop it off. It comes with a straw. It has a little um, attached cover here with the straw in it. And then of course it comes with the little lanyard string here attached. So you can just wear it around your neck. You don't have to use your hands. You just pick it up, drink out of it and put it down. Maybe I'll just wear this around one day in my neighborhood when I'm going for a walk because you know what? <laughs> I think it's fun. All right, let's talk water activities, beach, cruises, all that good stuff. Here is a great little pouch that you can use to put your phone in to keep it water, or safe from water, not keep water on it, that would be bad. Safe from water, it seals up top, you just snap it up, stick your phone in there, and then it also comes with the little lanyard that you can wear around your neck and keep it close by. Another great item is just this little handheld fan. 
y'all. It works really well. It's got three speeds and it also has a little stand so it will stand up on a surface if you want. So if you need it at nighttime to have that extra white noise, it'll kind of double as that. But definitely a great little thing to have. You just charge it up with the USB cord. Um, definitely a great little piece to have if you're going somewhere hot. All right, now this next thing um, is something I've been doing since my kids were little. Anytime we would go to the beach, I used to keep a little um, Dollar Tree bucket. I would throw that in to the car. But what I found on Timu is even better. It's this collapsible bucket. So it doesn't take up much space because you can smush it down. But what we do is when it's time to get back in the car, just go and scoop up some water from the beach or where the shower is or what have you. Have everyone dip their feet to make sure that all the sand is off. And then they go into the car and there's much less sand. You're not dealing with the sand. So it does collapse. Let me push it down. Hold on. There we go. So it does not take up, again, another space saver, does not take up much space. So for me, this is a great thing to have if you're planning on going to the beach, again, doing any type of activity where kids' feet might get a little dirty or maybe your own. I don't know. But yeah, a great, great piece. And when I travel, I always bring a big old water cup with me. So I picked up one of their little uh, mug tumbler cups. Wanted to compare it to some name brands. And honestly, this is a great deal. Um, it keeps the drinks cold. It has a twist on, twist off lid. So there's little spilling if it gets knocked over. It has the little silicone base on it. But you could definitely add some fun decals and things to it to personalize it. But I really, really like this. I love the handle. I really, really love the handle. And while you're walking around on the beach, maybe you've got a big sun hat and now you're trying to pack up and move things and it's windy and your hat's blowing off, grab yourself one of these little hat holders. It just clips right onto your beach bag and then you can just clip your hat directly to this and keeps it in place, whether it's a baseball hat, beach hat, what have you, and you don't have to worry about it flying off because that's one more hand you don't have to try to put on your hat while you're trying to leave somewhere. So definitely good to have a little hat holder that you can attach to any bag. All right, now, Maybe you're traveling to a special event, maybe a wedding or an anniversary party, and you need to bring something just to make sure that your clothes didn't get all wrinkly. This is a great little portable steamer that you can bring. It comes with the little cup to add the water and a great little thing that you can bring to just make sure that you get out any wrinkles out of your special attire that you need to wear. So I just really like the size of it and the value is really good as well. So I definitely will be using this next year when I'm going to a very special event. Now the final things I picked up, one was this bucket of rubber ducks. So here's the thing about the rubber ducks. Um, cruising has, whether it doesn't really matter what cruise line you go on, one of the things they do is they do cruising ducks. It's kind of like a well-known thing amongst cruisers where you take rubber ducks and you add a little tag and you just say like your name and what your state you're from and then you hide them around the ship and I can't even begin to tell you like, not only kids, but like adults, like I'm a part of a couple of groups on Facebook, but people love finding these ducks all over cruises. So because I'm going on cruises of the summer, I picked up some ducks to be able to do that and hide them around for whoever wants to find them. And then I also picked up the last thing were these cute little mini suitcases. These are the perfect size to do a cute little gift idea. So whether it be for summer or maybe a college kid going off somewhere, they're a perfect size. You can fit gift cards in there. You can put candies in there. So I'm planning to use these as little gift holders. And I definitely will share that once I make those. And that wraps up my suggestions for summer travel essentials. Let me know, do you have a travel essential that you cannot live without? Drop it down below in the comments. I would love to know. Thanks so much for watching guys. I really do appreciate it. Here are some more videos that you might enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Bye!